Hello! Today I've got these autumn nails for you um, with autumn leaves against a ombre background. As usual these days I started out with gel nail polish and I buffed it and applied regular nail polish base coat on it. Yeah. And then I went on to liquid nail art tape from Beauty Eel to protect my cuticles from sponging. This is my favorite one by the way just because it doesn't dry clear so I can actually still see where I applied it. And also it comes off pretty much in one big thing. And yeah, the sponges I use, they have a flat side that's about the same length as my nail. Except for my thumbnail, that was longer than that, but yeah. And I just applied all five colors on it. I just made really, really thin strokes because, again, I wanted to apply five colors on it. So I just picked six shades that to me look like autumn. So I picked red, orange, yellow, a sort of puke green shade. And bright blue. And then the sponge onto my nails. I only did um, two layers I think. But you can do however many layers you need. To get it opaque. Uh, the colors I use by the way. Like the specific nail polishes. I'll just list them down below in the description box as usual. But I think most of them were essence. And the blue one is Max Factor. And the dark red one. If I'm right is China Glaze. But yeah, anyways, when everything is on the nails but not yet dry, I peel off the liquid nail art tape. Do make sure to do this while the nail polish is still wet, because otherwise you might tear it. And if there is some nail polish actually on the cuticles, anyhow, just use some acetone and a brush to remove it. There wasn't a lot this time, so that's good. And then for the leaves I used this black nail polish from China Glaze. And yeah, I, I didn't want very... I wanted them sort of detailed, but I didn't want very cartoonish leaves. I just wanted them sort of sketched and... Yeah, just easy as if they're like... Really just being blown by by the wind, you know, like not very clear. So yeah, I think they're maple leaves, but I'm not sure. I'm not very much of a plant person. But yeah, I just wanted to do sort of bigger leaves because they're easier to paint. And if you don't have a nail art brushes, you can also use a dotting tool or even a toothpick. Again, it's not very detailed or anything. It's just basically just a sketched out shapes. And I decided to do them in black, by the way, because I wanted them to be more silhouettes than actual, you know, complete leaves. Like detailed leaves. Just silhouettes against the sky. And then I also wanted some glitter because I love glitter. Um, this comes from a set of glitter things that I once bought on eBay, I think. It was really cheap at any rate. And I just used a very thin top coat to glue it on there. You could do this nail per nail, but if you're quick enough with the top coat, then, you know, it works this way as well. Just make sure that, you know, the top coat you applied first isn't dry yet. When you start applying the uh, glitter. But yeah, I just threw the glitter onto the nails. I uh, used a paper sheet underneath it, by the way. Just so I can just fold it and just shove all the fallen glitter back into the bottle afterwards. So I won't waste any. And then I just carefully tapped it onto the nails to make sure that like, the bottom layer of the glitter is really, really pressed into the top coat. And then I just shook off my hands on the paper, which I didn't film. And then went on with a little brush. I think this brush was from a blush at some point in time. Really old. You can also use another makeup brush or just whatever soft brush you have will do. And I just used it to wipe off most of the excess glitter. And then I decided to also do an outline again. Um, because the glitter covered better than I thought it would actually. So yeah. I decided to just do an outline so it actually would still look like leaves and not like random gold spots. And then I decided to also add some stripes within the leaves, like just a little bit of detail. And this is also just still, you know, sketchy and not too neat. And as you can see, there's also some glitter stuck on the um, ombre part of the nails, but yeah, I didn't mind it. There's never too much glitter. And then once everything is dry, it's time for top coat. I use this really thick one by Essence, which I always use, the Better Than Gel Nails one. 
Um, I do recommend using a thick top coat for this nail art simply because otherwise you might get caught behind the glitter like this really does smooth out the glitter which is very nice and then that's the uh, final look I really really like these colors for autumn like there's just yeah there's just really the shades that I always like you like to wear in autumn in makeup in clothes and also on my nails um, so yeah I hope you enjoyed watching this thank you very much for watching and see you next time Bye! For those things, she has to like kiss him like 10 times and later 100 times. And just to prove that she's actually just, you know, rather spoiled and, you know, redacts.